Hi, I'm Sir Evans, the founder of Quality Service and the Superpower Planner, where we help people overcome adversity through the power of a plan. 20 years ago, I was 525 pounds, and over the last 15 years, I've had to grieve the loss of my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother. So trust me when I say I've had my fair share of adversity, and my objective is to help to make sure others can avoid some of the same pitfalls that I had to go through. I don't play video games as much as I used to when I was a kid, but there's still three life lessons that I wanna share with you that I've gotten from some of the most popular video games ever created. Super Mario Brothers and Sonic the Hedgehog are by far two of the most popular video games ever made. But there's one commonality that I wanna share with you that you probably never noticed. There's something interesting that takes place when Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog gets hit by one of their enemies or hit by an object. Mario goes from Big Mario to Little Mario, and Sonic, he gets hit, flies in the air, all of his coins are flying every which direction. But there's something special that happens right after that. Have you ever noticed that each of them is invincible for a couple of seconds? Like nothing can hurt them. They can run through any object, they can run through any enemy without any harm. I believe that trauma and adversity has a similar effect on our life. When we go through a traumatic experience, there's a numbness that overcomes the body. And I believe there are two perspectives that come with this. I don't care, and then there's also a perspective of nothing can stop me. But one of the lessons that we have to be mindful of is how we use that energy. One of those directions is gonna take us into a new chapter with new growth, while the other one is gonna leave us with some bad habits that we're gonna wind up having to fix later on down the road. Oftentimes, the people around us can semi-relate to what we've went through. It's understandable that you would choose that option, but you don't have to stay in that same place. So be mindful of how it is that you use your energy when you're in the midst of adversity. Maybe it's a toxic relationship you've been striving to get out of. Maybe it's a new job that you've been wanting to take on. Maybe you've been wanting to start that business or push that business to the next level. When you're faced with that adversity, that trauma, now is the time. Secondly, you have to be mindful that this season is not sustainable. That energy is that you're using, it's not gonna last forever. It's gonna wear off the same way that that invincibility wears off when Sonic gets hit. So you have to be careful because whatever you're using it on, it's not gonna last forever. Whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, but you also have to remember whatever doesn't make us stronger, it's ultimately gonna kill us. That can be mentally, spiritually, and emotionally as well. So if you're leaning on something or you're using that energy for something that's not beneficial to your health, it's ultimately going to run out. It's ultimately going to put you in a worse situation than you were at first. Newsflash, ladies and gentlemen, life is not a video game. When it's game over, it's game over. Because oftentimes we don't get to replay the seasons that we're in. So be mindful of how you use your energy, how you apply that energy. Because what's not making us stronger it's ultimately killing us. Make sure you subscribe to both channels. We'll leave the link below. And if you're in the Cleveland area, make sure you come out to What's Your Superpower Workshop, April 13th, where we help those to unlock that superpower, how to harness it, and protect it. Salute.